The Christ Church and the statues in Malacca in Malaysia are just a speck away from each other. The area where they stand is a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its historical importance. It is also located in the Dutch Square, also known as the Red Square. It was built somewhere around 1950 and turned into museum around in 1982. Construction began in 1741 on the centennial of the Dutch occupation and it was completed in 1753. Before this date, The Dutch used the old Portuguese church atop St Paul's Hill for their religious services. Christ Church Malacca was built by the Dutch when they took possession of Malacca from the Portuguese. It's one of Malacca's most defining structures. Situated along Jalan Gereja, it is an instantly recognizable brick red building with a huge white cross and a bell at the top. Christ Church was built in 1753 to celebrate a century of Dutch occupation. The Christ Church is a big part of Malacca and Malaysia's history. The history behind the building is great and important for today's generation. This is a beautiful and iconic place and a must visit place for you all. K Famosa is a one of the historical places in the Melaka. It is one of the old heritage city in the Melaka. It is the most photographed city or places in the Melaka and is just located the status building. A Famosa is a one of the oldest surviving European architectural remains in the whole Asia. It is also known as the Porta de Santiago, the structure of the four main gates of the world famous Portuguese fortress. This fortress was built by Alfonso in the 1512 and one year after Malacca was invaded. In 1511, a Portuguese fleet arrived under the command of Alfonso. He forced the attack that defeated the armies of the Malacca Sultanate. Moving quickly to the consulate is gains, Alfonso and his fortress built around the natural hill near the sea. He believed that Malacca would become the important port linking to the Portugal the spice route in the China. A Famosa was the tallest building in the region from 1512 until it was destroyed by the Dutch in the 1641. A Famosa was built on the site of the Great Mosque of Malacca. One of the towers was 60 meter tall, four story keep, while the thickness range of A Famosa is 2.4 until 4.5 meters. The famous A Famosa was built soon after the Portuguese captured Malacca in the year of 1511. The A Famosa was originally built over the ruins of the damage of the Great Mosque of Malacca after the success of Portuguese colonization. The construction of Kota A Famosa under the direction of Alfonso became the symbol of resistance of the people of Malacca at that time to force them to build defensive city once they took control of the city of the Malacca. A Famosa tells a solid history behind a fort. It is a great heritage to a Portuguese resident of Malacca from 1511 to 1641. It is an attractive fort for the Portuguese to protect the city of Malacca from a beautiful attack. The architecture of the fort is very good condition and looks historic even some of the bricks is not in the good condition. The fort is small remain in the old Malacca and whole lots of history. A Famosa is a heritage place the net we preserve for the future thank you welcome to baba enanya heritage museum malacca is the historic state in malaysia and also one of four unesco world Heritage State in Malaysia. It is was listed as one of the culture heritage state in 2008, together with Georgetown in Penang. It is for colorful history of culture and friendly exchanges between East and West about a few hundred years ago.
Terbabar nyonya or peranakan Chinese are the descendant of Chinese traders who migrated to the British Strait Settlement of Melaka and then adopted uh, some of the local Malay customs into their culture. It was common for Chinese uh, traders back then to take Malay or Indonesian women as wife or concubine which therefore explains the mixed culture and heritage of the Peranakan Chinese. The building perhaps dates from the Dutch colonial period in 1600s. However, the current so-called street electric facade dates to the 19th tenth. The exterior in is decorated with glazed tile and wall moulding and crowned with roof line that blend eastern and western elements. Chinese decorative features and gilded calligraphy are carved on doors and windows. This hybrid frontage set the tone for the architecture and the interior of the house. JK Pachiri Baba and Nyonya Heritage Museum is a wonderful piece of architecture history. It is a beautiful house of rich family that gives you an excellent insight into the recent past of their great design, architecture and also furniture. This museum is a great opportunity to have a small peek into traditional lifestyle to local people in Malacca.